So this was pop quiz six, which was related to the questions from atomic and the space physics. Uh, the first question is actually related to atomic physics. So which statement about the radioactive decay of a substance is correct? When we check the option, it cannot be predicted when the particular nuclei will decay. That, this is true because like it, it's a random process. When we say it's a random, there is no order. We cannot predict when the next atom will decay. This is a right statement. Placing a radioactive substance inside a lead light box prevent it from decay. It will not, like the substance will decay, but it will block the radiation. Radiation won't come out, but the substance will still decay. Like if we have any radioactive material is there and we capped in a lead line box, so the substance will decay, it will emit out radiation, but the radiations are not able to escape as a lead will stop all the radiation from the source, but it will not stop from decaying. The decay always produce a poisonous gas. That's totally wrong. It can produce anything. It can be any element produced by the decay. The rate of a decay increase if a substance is dissolved in water. It is a spontaneous process. So by changing a temperature, changing the state, changing the pressure won't affect the amount of radiation which are coming out. That's why option A is a valid answer. In question two, the diagram shows a stream of beta particles. So for beta particle, which hand we will use? We'll use a right hand. And the first finger or index finger represent the magnetic field. So in this case, the magnetic field is pointing towards as it is south. So your first finger or index finger of the right hand should point downward. Your second finger represent the direction of the uh, particle in which the particle is moving or the motion of the particle. So the particle is moving towards the right hand side. So your index finger is pointing down and your second finger is pointing towards right. Where your thumb is pointing, if you check, you will find your thumb is pointing towards you when you apply the rule. So index finger is pointing down. The second finger is pointing towards right of a right hand. So where your thumb is pointing, your thumb is pointing towards you or out of the screen or we can also say out of the page. That's why option D is a right answer. Is it uh, clear this one? Yes, sir. The next, some stars initially, which are much more massive than the sun, describe the life cycle of such stars, like what happened to such stars as it passes through a stage from being a protostar. So it's it, like you have to write for a main, uh, the massive star. So first for massive star, what will happen? They will become a main sequence star, the protostar. changes to main sequence, or you can also say the stable star. For main sequence or stable star, the radiation pressure is equal to gravitational force. So a star won't change its size and it undergo a hydrogen fusion. That is the first thing. Then what will happen when the hydrogen fusion eases, then the star first initially it will reduce in size as the gravity is stronger. And that redu reduction in size increase the temperature, which is start the helium fusion. And when it start the helium fusion, the, the star will expand and it will turn into. The, after that, the star will expand. And it will form the super giant. You can say red super giant, you can say giant, super giant. Both are correct. Then what will happen as it become a red supergiant or a supergiant? Then there will be like once a helium fusion is this, then the star again is start to collapse and it will start a fusion of the heavy element. When will it start the fusion of the heavy element? 
then there will be a supernova. Supernova means like a throw of outer layer. And what are the possibility after supernova? The core becomes a neutron star or it might have enormous amount of mass in the center. It might form a black hole. So from red giant, there will be a supernova. And from supernova, what are the results? It might be like core become a neutron star. Or if the mass is, if the original mass is large enough, the core will swing and it will become a black hole. This is uh, for the massive stars, stars which are having mass about eight times the mass of the sun. So this is uh, related to the star cycle. Then, although the early universe contained only light elements such as hydrogen, it has now contained number of heavy elements. A state in which part of a life cycle star uh, start these like life cycle of a star these very heavy elements are formed. So, heavy elements are formed in supernova because what actually happened in a supernova like first there is a hydrogen fusion, then helium fusion, and then when the heavy element fuse together, that is what the supernova uh, occurs. So. Which part of a star cycle, it will form a heavy element that is in supernova. Two isotopes of hydrogen are there, hydrogen 2, 1 and 3, 1. One similarity, how they are similar to each other. So when we work out like hydrogen 2, 1, it will have one proton, it will have one neutron. Hydrogen 3, 1, it will have one proton and it will have two neutrons. So one similarity in the composition, they will have the same proton numbers. And how the nucleus of a hydrogen, 3, 1, differ from 2, 1, and it's of two marks. So you have to write two differences. First thing, they will have different number of the nu neutrons, and they also have different number of, like, this will have, uh, 3, 1 is having two neutrons, 2, 1 is having one neutron. So hydrogen 3, 1 is having two neutrons, where hydrogen 2, 1 is having one neutron. And they have a different nucleon numbers. Is it uh, clear, this one? So this was a pop quiz uh, related to topic atomic physics and the space physics.